<laughs> Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're uh, on at the weapons bed. Uh, on the Bruce weapons Island. bed? Where they put all weapons to sleep. Yeah, anyways, uh, I like this stage just because there's a lot of stuff for you to blow up. And in fact, it's pretty much going to be crucial to get an A rank for uh, this stage. You've got to blow up a lot of stuff here. The, yeah, you, if you couldn't tell at the end of the last part, Koi was just dying of hunger and decided to take a phone call in the middle of the commentary. Now I'm exercising in the middle of the commentary. Are you now? Yeah, I'm doing those push-ups, you know, but I guess whoa. Uh, I suppose. Anyways, we finally got the uh, Vulcan Cannon power-up, or I think it was... Uh, I forget what it was The Vulcan Cannon. Uh, uh, Vulcan. Uh, uh, anyways, uh... You know, typical steel uh, container breaking power up. And I almost got hit by the explosion there. Omo Chow died though. <laughs> That's why I stopped for a second there. No, Omo Chow died? Yeah, Omo Chow died. Oh no. But then he'll pop up again at the stage anyway. Resurrection. So you've heard about in Japan now opening a Studio Disney theme park like from Disneyland? They have? They are. Ah. They, uh, I think they said it will be done in 2024. So, aka before the Final Fantasy VII game comes out? A yeah, basically. <laughs> I mean, I would... I mean, that sounds pretty dope. I, I would go. Yeah, same. What would a Makoto Shinkai theme park be like? Maybe the food will actually look good. <laughs> good point. <laughs> but seriously, I would, I would go, alright. I'll also go to Disneyland Japan. And because they have salt, salt ice cream. <laughs> Didn't you try to make sea salt ice cream once and failed miserably? Yeah, it failed completely. Like, what, what, what happened? Did, did it just... It didn't taste like... I could taste the salt, but I couldn't taste the, cream, the ice cream. Did you, like, uh, what recipe did you use anyway? I don't know, I just googled a random recipe. Oh, okay. But you at least Google the recipe instead of just like making it randomly on your own? Yeah, I Googled the recipe. It wasn't creamy, it was more like a ice block. One day I'm gonna try it for myself anyway. <laughs> and then the future folks will be if I get if we get enough money, we might go to Japan and we'll do a Japan vlog. Uh hopefully we won't be like Logan Paul when we we're not gonna do that, we're not gonna pull a Logan Paul. Yeah, go just, just because that is plain disrespectful. <laughs> what yeah. He did. I heard that he got um he no longer is a welcome back in Japan. Good. Yeah, I, mean, I saw... if you didn't do that, huh? I think that is disrespectful in that in that country that lets you in. Yeah. And you shouldn't even be allowed to come back in. Yeah. Like uh um I saw a video from uh, Gaijin Goomba, like I might have mentioned before during the Pokemon randomizer, but he's basically a YouTuber who focuses on um, analyzing and uh, highlighting uh, how uh, aspects of Japanese culture make it into video games, and his videos are really informative and fun to watch, and his reaction video to what Logan Paul did was pretty heartbreaking because it's clear he's done a lot of work just to help uh, just to try and make a bridge between uh, himself and uh, the Japanese, just to yeah. help, uh, just to, just to foster a sense of community and to get them to open up. And yeah. what Logan Paul did would basically wipe just out all of his work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I I want to taste that sea salt ice cream someday. I think it's gonna play a part of uh, uh, an important role again in Kimi Shikuri. Watch, Kim, they get a stick with a crown it and that's the, the key blade. 
You know what? I'm calling it right now. Hey, uh, uh, so the sea salt ice cream is going to be how uh, um, they bring Roxas back. Probably. They just collect all his sticks. All his sticks. Yeah. At eight or four. Yeah, and it's gonna summon Roxas back somehow. Probably amazing, man. I mean, we know at this point, given the, what we're seeing on the box art, that Roxas and Xion are both gonna come back. So, as well as Nomine, even though you think they'd both be gone for good by now. Yeah. And that, that's probably one of the most exciting things, too, is how they're gonna wrap up so many remaining uh, plot threads. The Kingdom Hearts for the Indies. Also because I died there towards the uh, middle of the stage, I basically lost any chance at getting an A rank. You got a B? No, wait, sorry. Maybe C rank? No. C rank? Or E? That was too E for close. epic fail. Okay, also, uh, <clears throat> the police Ooh, aren't the only one patrol. to mistake oh, a shadow for Sonic. So wow. Look at this. Look at this girl. She can't You're even Sonic? recognize her you? lover. Yeah, she can't even recognize her love interest. Yeah. Ah! And now that I think about it, how did she even get here? Yeah. And she just walked to the edge, that's all. Yeah. She didn't have anything to get away with, so how did she even get here? She was... This is a, this is an island holding a high security prison. And a military base. Anyways, this fight is pretty similar again, it's just uh... Just like that one part of the video story from Eggman's perspective now. The AI feels pretty stupid as far as last time. Almost died there, but so I still won. Close. Better luck next time, Fox Boy. Ah, here we go, security hall. You know, I thought this stage would be an absolute. I thought this stage would be an absolute pain in the ass, but just watch what happens. No more time to waste. Five minutes should be plenty. Here I go. Right in front of me is the first chaos emerald of the stage already. <laughs> I got insanely lucky there. Is it randomly generated? Um, it's not completely random gener randomly generated. There's like a bunch of locations the game can choose from for each uh each item that you're looking for, and yeah, and that's uh how and that's how you um. Get the randomness, I guess. It's not completely random, but uh, in hard mode, it's completely preset. But yeah, I got really lucky this time around. The second emerald, I also find relatively quickly. I, in fact, I don't really have any problem this time around with uh, struggling with the stage's time limit. I try to get the gold robot here, but I just dive back down. Did you hear about the Mayor and Luigi Luxury game? Oh, the port to the 3DS? Yeah, it's the port of the GameCube version to the 3DS. Oh, really? Yeah, with I multiplayer. The one was literally called Luigi's Mansion Face My Fears. What? I thought that was the new one. No, it, it's literally just the first Luigi's Mansion ported over to the 3DS with um, multiplayer and uh, the 3D effects. But from what I saw, the frame rate was pretty bad in that reveal trailer. Probably is. I mean, there is a new Luigi's Mansion though. That, but Luigi's Mansion Three is gonna be for the Switch. Oh yeah. Also, the air current here is being pretty stupid. Finally got that. But... And the last one is nearby too. Okay, so Koi, you're gonna eat at like 4.30, right? Yeah, and I got, so I gotta take a shower, so around 4 o'clock we'll be done. Okay. 
So, done for the entire day? No, done. And then when I come back, if I'm up for it, and then go up for it, we can continue. Yeah, I'm hoping we can just get the rest of the Dark Side story done with just because it's so short in comparison. It's like, this is part three already. I only have six recording sessions for the Dark Side. Mm. Granted, one of them is half an hour long, but that's no big deal. Anyways, the last one is also a bit tricky to get, but it's right there. You see it? Yeah. It's gotta be close. But yeah, I had a I had a ton of trouble on this stage when I was younger. And uh, yeah, A rank too. Nice. How is that? Hey. Perfect. Like me? That's pretty good. And then for some reason Rouge Rouge fights just to show Rouge fights this another version of the first boss that Shadow fought. Killer. But uh yeah, the only difference with this one is that it flies all the time. You know, like I said, like if the first one just flew all the time and didn't stop to land or didn't have any boxes, it would have beaten Shadow easily. Uh, this one does that, except Rouge can fly. Okay. Uh, yeah, this isn't a very interesting boss fight. Matter of fact, I think this series kind of struggles with having actually good boss fights. There's some good ones, definitely, but... <laughs> There's a lot of repeats here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> At least that went down in less than a minute. And if I'm not mistaken, we're pretty close to the end of the part too. At the end of the cutscene, yeah. This is Rouge. I've got a small and Rouge, problem. despite being an expert treasure hunter, somehow managed to get trapped. This locked safe with a chaos emerald. <laughs> I guess I won't Did she die? No, Shadow goes out to save her. Why? He needs the chaos emeralds. That and his memories of Maria kind of influence him there. <laughs> he, he's weak. His heart is weak. They do hint, um, uh, they do hint at a bit of like a romantic tease between the two in later games too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the part. We will see you next time. In, which is in like a few seconds. For us. Yeah.